Hello, welcome back to Babylon is Fallen. We're at part five. I am Izzy Noodles, and right now I'm gonna open some doors. Just gonna open this one just because I can, and then I'm gonna open this one. Okay, so inside this door to the left. There is a crossbow! Actual crossbow. Now we're in business. And we can see there, there is an item being very well guarded by some spikes. And hopping into the water, we can see that one of these things is not like the other. Can you tell what it is? It is this trapdoor right here. So, if we hop inside and swim all the way around. Ooh, I'm stuck. Stuck. Okay, if we surface here and climb out. This big thing here is a button. And we can see what it does. Right there. Okay, so we will come back to that moment in a moment. <laughs> Come back to that bit in a moment. So just grab these shotgun shells in that little cubby hole and swim out. We will go straight to that door that we've just opened. Okay, so just climb out. Oh, oh hang on. All right, she's okay. She saw a dog. Um, the uh, the gate that we've just opened is right here, and we need to pull the blue vase out, but we can't because there is no floor. How bizarre! How bizarre! So if you come over here, there's some normal arrows on this ledge here. And we can see a lever, but yet again, there is no floor. But if we hop into the gap, there is a crawl space. So, it's a very well hidden crawl space. If we come round, there is a button right there. Press the button. And that gives us the floor that we need to pull that blue vase out with. So now we can go straight to the blue vase and pull it out. Okay. And I didn't show you where we need to place it actually, I forgot. But it's alright because you will see as soon as I get there. Okay, so from here you want to push it, I think, about four times. And if you listen, you can hear the spikes. And now you can't. So if you look up, you can see like the blue block protruding from the ceiling. That's what the vase wants to be under. So now we've deactivated the spikes with the vase we can pick this up. I can't turn around. Here we go. <laughs> and now we can pull that lever as well. So, what I've just picked up is an anti-spike trap tool. So we'll, we'll use that there soon. So firstly, if we pull the lever, That is right where I started, right next to where I started this video. And we're going straight to there. So if we come out of this door, which is the first door I opened. That's the only reason I opened it. You could come out the other door, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so in here, there is a harpy. And remember, they're poisonous, so you don't want them to touch you. Oh, it's been very slow. Where's it gone? Oh, no, no, no. Where is it? 
I don't know where it's gone. Okay, it's up in the air. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Did I take any damage? No, I didn't take any damage. But while you're running around trying to shoot that harpy, be careful of the hole in the floor, just here. So anyway, from the way we entered, you can just see a doorway straight ahead. We can't do anything in there for now, but that's the way we entered. So from here, we want to come over to here. Make sure you've got the right place by looking down and there should be water with a spike trap. So, hop on down. And we want to deactivate the spy traps, spike traps by opening the door straight ahead. And to open the door we need to come around this way. Oh, I'm stuck on a vase. She's got her shoelaces caught in the vase. <laughs> so quickly come around to the right, there are some shotgun shells. And get some air up here. It can be difficult, you need to get the sweet spot to get some air. But just keep trying to surface and you'll eventually get there. Mind the plant. So now come straight down this way. And we can open this door. And you can just see there, there is a boulder. So just edge forward to activate that and swim straight out. And now go up that passage there is a lever this lever opens that door and we would get a cutscene so while you've got the cutscene you can do a roll and continue to swim it saves just a little bit of time it's not really that important but it just saves that little bit of time so now we can come back the way we came Okay, just surface for air. And now we can go through the gate. Okay, so just here is where we want to surface. And there is a snake in here, just to the right. As soon as you come out, it might get you. And that baboon is in my way now. Whoa, oh, it got me. I can't remember if it's poisonous. Doesn't look like it, she's not drunk yet. I often like to save just here. And the reason is, I don't like shooting the baboon because he's not doing any harm, but we don't want the snake there. So it can take a while to eventually do this. really don't want to shoot the baboon because he's lovely. Oh well the snake's stuck anyway so that's alright. <laughs> so uh, this keyhole is where we use the anti-spike key. Oh they're both stuck by the looks of it. <laughs> so now we can use that lever where we jumped in so that's cool. So just ignore those two. <laughs> And levers that are on a platform like this, it's you can't actually shimmy to the corner. So you have to drop down and shimmy to the edge and climb back up. And now we can use the lever. Okay, so we can see what that lever did. Uh, so here we've got two ways we can go. We can go that way, up those steps, but there is nothing we can do there yet. So we're going to ignore it and come this way. This is where we opened those two doors. So that's straight ahead there. 
and in just a moment I'll show you where the other one is because there's a snake right now. Okay, so I got the snake. The second door is right through there. But I'm not going through any of those doors just yet because we need a torch. We need a torch for one of the rooms, not both, so you could do one of the rooms now. But I'm gonna go grab the torch. So we need to hop back into the water. And go through this passage that we went the first time round. And head towards the boulder, where the boulder was. But, take a left because there is a well hidden passageway right here took me a while to realise that was there but here it is so just like before when we collected Daniel's reward we need more rewards we need three more and these three receptacles are where they will go so firstly we come through this doorway grab this med pack that's in this cubby and right now I'm going to equip my crossbow with the poison arrows and don't forget I mentioned in video one you get the uh, the option of explosive ammos but there actually are none in this game also uh, the shotgun get the option of wide shot and yet again there are none in this game so, equip my crossbow. I'm actually going to save, <laughs> just because. Just because there are actually harpies here. So, your poisoned arrows do more damage, which is why I've chosen the poison arrows. I hate these things a lot. Took a fair bit of damage from me. But I'm not poisoned, so that's good. How much health do I have? That's that's okay, I think. I think we're all right. So, head straight to the end. And you can see a room with lots of death water. All of the death water. We want to get across to the other side. So, in order to do that, we need to jump onto the slope to jump to the other side. The reason I saved before the harpies was in case I got poisoned. <laughs> Much saving just because. Okay, so okay, <laughs> okay, so this lever gives us a pole so we can get back across the death water. And if we have a look, all the lines across the walls are ladders and we need to be able to get up the top so pull out this and this will help us get up to the top Once it's in the correct position, it will show you that you have put it in the right position. Like so. And to get out of that angle, you need to press the look button. And also, we now have stripes on the other side for no reason. We don't need those stripes, but, you know, they're there now. <laughs> so now we just need to get back across. So sometimes this works, oh my goodness, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That is not what I meant by that though. Okay, so I'll try again, I'll do a running jump and I think you can stand and jump as well, but for some reason I just have a habit of running and jumping. Most of the time it works. 
And now for this bit, that straight ahead is the block that we moved and we need to jump onto that. But we need to use one of the slopes either side here. So we need to jump and veer. Actually, you don't need to do a running jump, you need to do a standing jump. There we go. And just make your way up. Okay, at this bit you want to have your feet at the lowest point, because otherwise she'll bang her head. So you need to flip backwards and she'll grab that. And I'll just shimmy to the left. Because the aim is to jump across all the spikes, which is very dangerous, but... Okay, you've noticed that she's, she's let go and I can't move. She always does this, so just take one climb up and she'll grab her footing and then you can shimmy again. I don't know why she does that, but she does. It's easily easy to get out of. So just climb up into this space. You want to not have your footing to be able to gra uh, climb in. And now we can see there are three ledges with three lots of spikes. So, have some more of that. You want to do a running jump, just the, the spikes disappear. So you land just as the spikes disappear and then run and jump again, but you want to grab the ledge, I think. We'll see how it goes, see what I do, and that's what you need to do. Okay. Oh. So yeah, you can run straight through them. They're not instant death, but you know, you want to try and avoid them. So you can see here, you've got this safe gap and there are spikes coming from the ceiling now. Okay, so just climb down. The spikes at the ceiling can't get you here. It's when you climb into this gap. So if your health's not as good like mine, you might wanna save so you can redo if you're not satisfied. So stay down. Ooh. I think I'll be all right. We'll see. We'll see how we go. So you want to mine the fire now. Oh no! They're out of sync. Oh no! Okay, so I can try this again. Yes, it missed me. Keep your finger on the crouch button. So you can stand in the corner to avoid each flame at a time, which is what I think I'll do. Okay. And right now I'm going to equip my shotgun. Uh, let me just make sure I've got some ammo equipped. Okay, so that's ready. And there's a harpy that comes out of nowhere, but it's difficult to work out <laughs> where it is. Okay, it's been a bit weird today. She's not shooting it, which... Okay, four shots is what it takes. I'm actually really low on health. Oh, my goodness. So anyway, we have a shotgun right here. So if you're fast enough, you can pick that up if you've not already got one. If you pull this lever, it opens the door to this room. And the door straight across. And you may recognise this area, this is where we fought the two harpies before. But if we carry on straight into this room, this is where we pick up a torch. And it's kind of given us a hint where to light it. We've already been there. So we're going to go straight back to there. So 
So on the off chance I don't do very well with my health, I think I will reload from the spike trap bit. I think. We'll see how it goes. So remember we're back here, that's where we're going to place the three reward gems. If you lob that down we can open this door. Okay, find my torch. And we have a right and a left just here. But right under that, that's the hole that I told you to be careful of at that first harpy. So, if we get our bearings, just on the left, go away. We've got, we've got a small med pack. Actually, that's the right hand side. I get them mixed up quite often. So to the right there's a small med pack and to the left is where we want to take the torch. So sometimes, yeah, most often you can climb through that gap but if you're having trouble just throw the torch into it and crawl through. And now, if we careful, we can hop down. Okay, and again, whoop. Awesome, so this is the room where we opened the two doors and got the snake. And right here is the statue that it showed us in the cutscene. This is where we light it, but you may be thinking, well, there is no fire. Why is there no fire to light it on? What we do is we push it onto the odd tile. Magic. That's some good Tomb Raider logic for you. Now we're going to grab the torch and light it. Okay. So I will firstly go into this room. We need the torch in this room. We don't need it in the second room, but we do in this one. And there are four statues to light, one in each corner of this room. So if we light them all, And that's opened the door just here so if you want to leave your torch where you can find it because we will still need it I will actually move it because I will not find it there that's better <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna select my pistols just for easy peasiness around the corner there are two griffins which are pretty easy to whoa now Okay, they're dead. My health is terrible. All right, I'll, I'll see how far I get. <laughs> and I will reload if I do too badly. So, okay, we've got a strange puzzle now. We've got doors that open. We need to go through the correct door. But we won't know what door to go through until the end. The solution to this puzzle is at the end. So if you keep going, okay this is the last room and that is the solution. So we want a horse facing to the right, a funny looking dog and a horse facing to the left. So if we firstly get out of here so we can start again, once we get it right we'll get the reward on this pedestal. So we go back to the start. We want a horse facing right, which is this one. And then we want a funny looking dog, which is in the center here. And if you've remembered, the, if you've forgotten the last one, this is the last room. So the, uh, the solution is right there. We want a horse facing left, which is 
on the left. And now we know we've got it right because we've got the cutscene. If you don't get it right, you'll be stuck in a loop until you get it right. So now we've got this reward. This is Azaria's reward. Okay, and now we can leave. I think the door closed behind us when we came in, but we can leave now. So don't forget your torch. And I'm going to leave this somewhere where I can find it, which would be right in the middle of the room. Right there. So we don't need it for the next room. But I'm not going to do the next room in this video. So this is where I'm going to leave it. So thank you for joining me in part 5 of Babylon is Fallen, and I hope to see you next time. See you soon, guys. Take care.